on YouTube. It's a windy day here in November and we're taking a Femi here and doing a range test over the James River right up here man you can see it. It's windy conditions. We got a steady 10 miles an hour and gusting to about 20. So it's gonna be a good test for it. Anyway if you like this video give it a thumbs up. If you like the content hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Let's get into the video. Alright, so we're going to do a quick range test. I'm going to put it right over the water and just let it rip. Here we go. 300 meters away. Increased height to maximum height. Just going to let it rip. 91% battery. Way down range over there. I got a new uh, sun shield on here. Keep saying gimbal not ready. Instead of disconnected. Back online. Very windy day. I'm sure you guys can probably hear it on the audio. So I apologize for that, but uh, we are cooking now. We're at uh, approaching 700 meters away. Pretty day. City skyline in the back. We'll pitch the camera down a little bit. You can see that. And I'm going to pitch the camera down again to give you guys a view of the river. Rocks and wildlife down there. Very pretty day this morning. There was a uh, triathlon, an adventure triathlon here in Richmond. And it was the King of the James adventure triathlon. Big time, big time event. All right, so we're approaching 1.2 kilometers. And we're no longer over the river, so I'm gonna slide it over the river. There we go. Seventy-eight percent battery, wind's picking up. Luckily, we'll be flying back with the wind. Uh, we've got a steady 15 miles an hour with a gust of about 20-25. I'm 
sure you guys are going to hear it in the audio. We are at 1.5 kilometers, approaching 1.6 kilometers. Video got a little laggy there. I don't have it, uh, parabolic dishes on it, just straight out. You can see it right here. Pitch the camera down again, just to kind of make sure we're still got a connection. 73% battery. Drone has reached its match altitude. Okay, I figured that. I'm going to go ahead and put it over the river again. Come around this turn. I think it looks better. Okay, so it uh, fail safe return, it looks like. And that's okay. I got 71%. We reach almost two kilometers. Um, and it says it's cruising back. A pretty good clip. So it's way down the stream here, or upstream, by the park in Forest Hill. Here's my view. Pretty cool. We'll pitch the camera down. Everything just went black. It said it disconnected. And got the signal back again. And it is coming back at a good clip. I'm going to push the camera up. So the settings for the camera are manual mode, ISO 100. And, um, Keeps this the shutter speed here says auto. Um, I don't know what that is. If you guys know what it is, man, let us know. But it, it's coming back. It got 66% battery and now um, under a kilometer, 900 meters away. And right now it's like right over this hill. I see it coming back. Cooking pretty fast, guys. And this is a uh, man made kind of a dam. And you can see the rocks have been worn out pretty, pretty hard by the river currents. Pitch the camera up again. You get such cool patterns on the rocks. And this rapids on the right is called Variation Break. And then the next break you're going to see in this uh, man made dam or dike is called First Break because it was broken first, I guess. Closest to the land. Then you see uh, the people standing in the rock, and one of those is me. And this is the old quarry that you're looking at right there. They used to pull, uh, get rocks out of there for uh, making the roads back in the Civil War days. But um, somehow it, they ended up flooding and they quit using it. But yeah. Okay, so I'm going to abort the auto landing or the return to home. There it is. Been aborted. And I'm just going to fly over... Didn't mean to yaw that fast. What I wanted to give you is this view here. Yeah, 
Uh, that's the view I wanted to give you right there. And uh, Bell's Isle was discovered by John Smith in the 1600s. And at one time during the Civil War, it was used as a uh, Confederate or prison for Union soldiers. And, and then it was used for textile and also some... Uh, it is said that George Washington at one time here had his private still. Nice reflection off the river. We got a guy right here at the point. I'm gonna drop in altitude. He is he is uh, fishing. We fly fishing. <whistles> yep, so you're looking at first break. Or I got distracted, missed a shot. Somebody was walking by. Selfie shot time.
So you can see over here, there used to be a power plant. I'm amazed that I'm still having a signal because I'm on the other side of the island through these trees. Okay, it looks like I lost my signal. And it's doing a fail safe return, that's fine. I just hit the return home button, so it is flying through those trees right here, right through there. So I put an ND16 filter on this guy today, and uh, hopefully it did quite well. Yeah, it did real well. So there you go guys. Okay, so in conclusion, the Femi flew very well today under these windy conditions. They went about 1.7 kilometers and they came back. Uh, but you know what? 1.7 kilometers is a long ways up this river, right up there. So it did really well flying back all by itself. And I'm super happy to have this thing back up in the air. And check out the props, man. They're still hanging in there. Really like them. <laughs>